Hi everybody, I hope you guys have had an awesome week and have been enjoying your weekend. Happy Sunday. So as you know, in church we're talking about heroes in the Bible and this week we're talking all about Ruth. So we actually talked about Ruth already on Mother's Day, but we're just going to talk about her a little bit again today and the story is called Faithful Ruth and you can find it in the story of the book of Ruth in chapters 1 through 4. Naomi was moving back to Bethlehem. Her husband and sons had died, and she wanted to go home. But she begged her beloved daughters-in-law, Oprah and Ruth, to stay behind, for she was penniless and her life would be hard. Oprah and Ruth loved Naomi dearly and did not want to stay behind, but finally Oprah agreed to go home. Loyal Ruth, however, said, Don't ask me to leave. I will go wherever you go. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. So it was that Ruth and Naomi came to Bethlehem. Soon they had no food left, and brave Ruth went out into the field where workers were harvesting the crops and asked the owner if she could pick up any of the barley that his workers left behind. This was Boaz. He kindly let Ruth work in the fields and told his servants to share their food with her. When Ruth returned with a full basket of food, Naomi knew that the Lord was looking after them, for Boaz was a relation of hers. In time, Ruth married him, and when they had a son, there was no happier woman in the world of Bethlehem than Naomi. So, here's the picture, and here you can see Ruth picking up all the barley. So, in this story, Ruth and is living with her mother-in-law, and she decides to stay and be loyal to her because she loves her so much. And then she decides to go out to the fields and work them and get food for them because she cares for them this much. So Ruth is very selfless. So that means that she doesn't only care about herself. She cares about all the people around her. And this is super important, not only in Ruth's life, but in everyone's life. It's important in your life and important in my life. Because Ruth also showed something that's called compassion. So compassion is a big word, but it means something really good. It means that... You want suffering and others to end. So, when you're compassionate to others, that means you don't want them to hurt or you don't want them to be sad. And so, Ruth didn't want her mother-in-law to be sad or to worry or to do anything that would make her stressed out or sad. And this is kind of like how Jesus interprets us. He doesn't want us to have to struggle. And that's why he loves us so much. And he wants us to listen to him when we speak or when he speaks. So it's a super important lesson to just not be selfish. You want to be selfless, which means that you care about everyone around you because then blessings are going to come through because God sees you being good to his people because you're his people too. So super important to just be selfless and to love one another and just like Ruth did. So if you ever see someone who's going through a hard time or who's sad, you can then say, what can I do to help you? Or if you ever see your mom or dad, it looks like they're having a bad day. You can give them a hug or you can ask if they need help with anything because that's how you can show love. And that's how Ruth showed love. She stayed close to her friend and she was there for her. And then she helped her when she needed food and just basic little things. And because she was constantly putting other people before herself, she then was able to marry someone who she truly loved and then bring a baby into the world. So I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson and I hope you can find the Ruth in all of you because she is truly a hero within the Bible. So we also have some exciting news. This is the last video that will be a virtual service because we are going to be back in church for children's ministry next Sunday, July 5th, so mark your calendars. We do have limited space for the nursery and preschool. We only have five kids, and then for K through second and three to fifth, we have seven kids per class. So we do have a sign up, so definitely check out um, the church page within this week so you can sign up and snag a spot. So I really hope you guys enjoy the rest of this week. I hope you guys stay safe and healthy and I'll be praying for each and every one of you. So have an awesome week.